Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade all four of the Tesla guns on the Final Reich. The four different names are the Reaper, the Midnight, the Bloodthirst, and the Hurricane, and I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade each and every one of these. Also, down below in the comment section, the top comment is going to be my comment, where I actually have the timestamps for each and every one. So if you need to just learn how to build one of them specifically, you can just click on the timestamp and it'll bring you to that portion of the video now once again guys if this video does help you out please drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new if you do end up subscribing let me know down in the comment section so i can thank you personally and let's try to break 500 likes on this video i know we can definitely do it and also guys i wanted to let you know that there are a few prerequisites to building the reaper the midnight the bloodthirst and the hurricane and that's what I'm going to be showing you first before we get into the specific upgrades. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get past the defending the tower step in the casual Easter egg. Now, the reason you need to do this is because you will not be able to upgrade each and every one of the power cores by placing it in this specific area and defending it unless you defend the tower first. Now, you are able to do a few steps before this for each and every one of the different Tesla gun upgrades. But once again, you will not be able to fully upgrade it unless you complete this step in the casual Easter egg. Also, if you guys need any guides on how to turn on power, the Tesla gun, pack punch, all that stuff, there will be a playlist linked down in the description. So anyways, guys, without further ado, let's get right into each and every one of the upgrades. All right, guys, so the first one is going to be the midnight variant of Tesla gun. Now, this is not my favorite one, but this one is still really, really good. And what you're going to need first is a Brenner head. So you're going to need to kill one of the flamethrower guys, the really, really annoying enemies that you can get on the final Reich. And you are going to grab his head head because it's actually going to drop and give you the ability to grab his head and use it now what you do is you use the ads button and what it's going to do is shine a light and you end up blowing up this statue right here now what you need to do then is shoot your tesla gun at that and you pick up the core and you place it inside of the trap canister which is right here now, what you're going to need to do after this is get a bunch of kills with regular zombies at this trap. So I would recommend getting a train. And if you're playing co-op, get all your friends to train up as well and bring the train to you at the same time. And then you guys are going to all have to go over there and start the trap at the exact time. Now, this one took me two full trains of zombies, like all the zombies that spawn in on the map for it to actually work. But what you got to do is just bring it over here. And this trap is really cool, actually, because bouncing Bettys come out of the ground and kill all the zombies. So one other thing you have to keep in mind, as you can see, I'm going to go over here and wait for some zombies to spawn in. And then I'm going to start the trap or not spawn in, but get over here. So it costs a thousand points and bouncing Bettys pop up. Now you can get killed if you're too close. As you can see, I'm getting hurt. And there is a spawn directly at the bottom of the stairs. So you need to keep that in mind as well because zombies will spawn down there and hit you in the back and cause you to go down. So just be really, really careful about that and cautious when you're playing. Now, like I said, it took me two activations of the trap on round 18. It may take more depending on which round you are. Then you grab this and you bring it all the way down to the electric trap side. So as you can see here, I'm just grabbing it. You walk extremely slow. So using like zombie blood is something that will be extremely beneficial to you guys. So I'd recommend that you do that. Now, as you can see here, I'm going to go over to this machine right over here and place it on the left hand side right in there. So what that's going to do is trigger one of the things where you have to protect it by pressing square after you place it in. So you're just going to have to defend it like you defended the tower or anything like that. And it usually goes pretty quick. Just make sure you have decent guns. And if you're playing as a team, have all your teammates here as well because the zombies will be attracted to it. So we're going to pick up the part once that is complete. And we're actually going to go where we originally built the Tesla gun. So all you really have to do is bring it up. And one of the things will be raised already where you have the tesla gun once you press square so then you place your tesla gun inside of the correct one that pops up 
and then eventually it's going to have to you know actually make the tesla gun and it will pop up and you can pick it so that is how you build the midnight tesla gun let's get into the next one guys once again the timestamps are all down there as well all right guys so now we're going to do the hurricane upgrade for the tesla gun and there is a gray panel on the wall that you need to get a bomb zombie to blow up on so the core will actually drop and you can use it so this one is really annoying but basically you wait up top at the top of the stairs and when the bomb zombie gets close enough you just run into it and it will blow up so you pick up the core and you're going to end up placing it in the electric trap which is basically right there where we did the last one so basically now all you have to do is lure the big zombies with the big spikes on their arm through the machine and turn on the trap so in this first one i end up killing three and then in the second one i end up killing two but i'm pretty sure it's two pairs of two it might be five total but you have to do them in pairs you cannot kill each individual one at once because it will not charge the core so once again you have to do two pairs of two or one pair of three and one pair of two i'm not exactly sure on the exact amount but i'm pretty sure it's five total so once you kill those big guys inside of the trap then you're going to charge your core and that's pretty much all you have to do it's really not too too bad like i said this is probably the easiest one i recommend training outside this area and then at the end of the round saving them and then bringing them here so what you're going to do now is end up placing this one on the right hand side of the machine that we used to do the midnight one before so this one is going to be on the right hand side of this machine you just place it in and press square and then you end up starting the protection process where you need to defend it from the zombies attacking it and it's really not too too bad at all you just defend and once you get this done then you're going to have the ability to pick up the actual piece that you need for the hurricane upgrade now the hurricane upgrade literally shoots kind of like a gersh device and it like kills a bunch of zombies in one shot it is my personal favorite it's really really fun so as you can see there i picked up the piece i'm gonna start the trap because these zombies are annoying and you can also start the trap while you're defending because it actually attracts all the zombies kind of like monkey bombs so that is another really really good tip to use so basically i'm just going to go back over here grab the regular tesla gun trade it in at the hurricane upgrade and then i'm going to pick up the hurricane once again this one is my personal favorite it's really really fun to use so i'd highly recommend that you guys get this one if you have the opportunity because it, it is just op like it doesn't react right away but it is very very good all right guys so the next one we're going to be doing is the bloodthirst and this one is not too too bad what you need first is a tesla gun and you're going to shoot this light post uh right there it can be an upgraded one or just a regular one it's going to start sparking so what you have to do is get a regular gun and starting with the sparked um lamp you keep shooting a bunch of the lights now it's going to be lit up with like kind of a green glow to it so those are the ones that you need to shoot and it's really hard to see sometimes because the lights are white so the green doesn't really show too well but uh, once you get the hang of the path it's really not too bad you just have to follow this exact path that you guys are watching right now in my gameplay so literally all you have to do is follow it now you can watch it a couple times so you get the path down because once you get inside it's a little bit more difficult but it's going to be this first one right here and then you shoot this one on the left then the next one on the left and then there's one towards the right like right when you go in the room then you shoot the first two and you don't shoot this one that i shot and then you make your way into this room over here you shoot it and then you're going to shoot the next one and then this one and then you kind of just skip a couple in this area inside so you just keep shooting shoot this light and then the last and final one is going to be located at the bottom and then it is going to drop so what you're going to do is place the power core inside of the canister that is located right down here and this is where it starts to get a little bit tricky so you need to kill an entire round of pests and as you can see i'm doing this on round 30 because earlier in this game we were upgrading the other ones so this one is a little bit challenging i'm not gonna lie but what you need to do is kind of just train around the pests 
Now, I would recommend if you're playing like more than one person, have only one person be down here. Uh, but still, it's really annoying. You pretty much need a full round. I think round 25 or 30 are probably the best rounds to do it. Uh, sometimes 20 works too, but it, it kind of, uh, it depends on how many you kill. So as you can see there, we just finished filling it up. You just need to kill a bunch of pests with this trap. And uh, once you do that, you can pick up the core and you're going to walk up the stairs over here and you're going to turn left right here. And it is the first canister right there. You just place it in, press square. Then you're going to start the defending thing. We just got a nuke, so there's like no zombies spawning in. But basically, all you have to do is defend it once again, just like the other ones. It's really not too complicated. You know, using good guns, having, you know, the M1911's Pack-A-Punch are really, really good. The bacon and eggs, I would recommend using those. So then you pick up the core and you just make your way back over to where you originally built the Tesla gun. You're going to trade in the upgraded gun that you have or the Tesla gun for the upgraded version called the Bloodthirst. And this one is actually really, really good as well. I would say they're all decent, but the Bloodthirst is like kind of an average one out of all of the four. Now, like I said before, the um, Hurricane one is the best in my opinion. But uh, anyways, to each their own. So there is the Bloodthirst, guys. Let's get into the next one. All right, guys, so the last and final one is going to be the Reaper variant. Now, this is the hardest one to do. So big props to my friend 2Basic who helped me out. His channel will be linked down below if you guys wouldn't mind going over there and subscribing and checking him out. But basically, the first thing you need to do is you need to shoot the big zombies with the spikes and they're going to slam into the wall that's holding a power core so what you need to do is grab that power core that got released and place it in the canister that is right next to it now here is where things start to get tricky you have to kill three pairs of two of the bomb zombies now these are really really annoying because they pretty much are so random when they blow up if you're like close to them kind of like the napalm zombies on Shangri-La so you need to be really really careful with these but basically what you want to do is throw down a jack-in-the-box right near the canister while you have two of the bomb zombies down in the pack-a-punch room so as you can see we're going to throw the jack-in-the-boxes right there and then you're going to activate the trap and the trap is going to be like saw blades and they're going to kill all the zombies and you need to kill the bomb zombies with the saw blades now there is another tip that i want to give you guys that we realized after playing this game now the bomb zombies basically are two zombies combined as one there's one regular zombie and then there's a zombie like tied to its back that's holding a bomb so if you kill only the zombie that's holding the bomb it drops the bomb and that way it's not going to blow up unless you shoot it so you don't have to worry about blowing up the zombies and you can just kill the regular zombie with the dead zombie tied to its back and it still counts so that's a huge 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 tip that was so awesome when i heard that because that makes everything so much easier just be really accurate kill the back zombie so it drops the bomb and then you'll be all set so like i said guys this one is very very challenging it's by far the hardest one it's a huge pain in the butt but uh, once you get the hang of it, it's once again pretty easy. So then you're going to end up picking up the power core once you're done. And this is where you have to walk basically a really far amount to get all the way to the room next to the morgue. So as you can see here, we're going to walk there. And this time you're going to place it on the right hand side. And basically, you just repeat the process that we've been doing over and over where you have to get a bunch of kills and defend it. So all you really do is go up to it and press square and it starts the lockdown thing. So you just get a bunch of kills and eventually it's going to get charged. Now, for this one, we ended up getting the flamethrower zombies which are extremely annoying, the Brenners. So you need to be careful for sure because we were doing this on such a late round. We ended up getting two of them. So I don't know if it always activates with this one, but I think it was just the round that we were so far ahead in rounds that we got two of them to spawn. So I would recommend using the zombie blood or the camouflage thing so you can just kill these because they are extremely annoying and they're a huge, huge, huge pain in the butt. 
But uh, once you get the hang of it and you can kill those, then you're going to pick up the last power core piece that is going to be located in the machine that spits it out after you do that. And then you're going to make your way all the way back to where you originally built the Tesla gun and then you can get the Reaper variant. So anyways, guys, I hope this video did help you out. Like I said, I spent a ton of time in game trying to do this. It literally took me like all day yesterday to get these clips, and I was just having a lot of trouble with it. But uh, I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys. Once again, check out my friend Basic down below. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Tell me if you do end up subscribing. And also, guys, if we can try to break 500 likes on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.